Hello and welcome back to Spider Chronicles. This is Bio Enchanted, and today we'll be exploring the area of the game we can explore as Thimble Tag. I quite like his music, although it can get a lot annoying after a while to just how long it lasts for, because of how much exploration there is to do behind the walls. Oh rats, I'm turned around. The other way for the stone to be found. I do quite like that he also tells you where you're meant to go as well. It's a good way of making sure you don't waste time going the wrong direction by mistake. I'm mostly keeping an eye out here for the main collectible of this level, which are these little guys. There are 50 cockroaches hidden behind Perhaps the world. I should now collect them all. Yeah, basically, we just need to kill 50 cockroaches while wandering around back here. Uh, there are 27 in this direction that I can get right now, and then 23 or so in the other direction with a couple that are just kind of hanging out in this area, in a way area we can't actually get to quite yet. But we'll be getting most of the ones in this direction for now. We'll have, like... But that'll be, uh, for, we'll worry about the other sides of the, uh, levels later when we can actually get there. For now, we're coming this way to get the, uh, the stone. The trick here is working out where you're meant to actually go next. The main trick, though, is looking for a low ledge you haven't gone to yet, like that one ahead of us right there. Also, keeping an eye out for the skittering noises the cockroaches make is very, very distinctive, and therefore very useful. If you can hear a scurrying noise like that, it means there's still cockroach in the vicinity. That little blowing effect is from where I was trying to use the scurry a little bit there, which is something that Thimble Tech uses to climb walls. But we'll see that when we see it. I like the little noises he makes like when climbing up those wires as well. It reminds me a lot of Chibi Robo with the uh, sound effects being uh, more musical cues than anything else when you were walking across different surfaces. That was an interesting idea. I quite like this game tries to do that too. Brownies flout a smart dismount. Yeah, everything that he says is in rhyme, which can get a little irritating at times, but I don't mind it. I find it kind of charming. And again, often it contains a helpful hint. Yeah, that noise is very, very uh, clear and sharp and obvious, so I quite like that they have that noise. Although it's annoying that it keeps constantly playing, the fact that it does keep constantly playing means that you know there's a cockroach nearby that you just can't see. I wait for the right so you know to just keep looking in every direction. And don't worry, in this video I do manage to get every cockroach in this direction. I can get right now. So I remember getting this exact amount uh, when I first played the game myself. And then the only cockroaches I was missing in this direction were ones we physically can't get to yet. Of course, the cockroaches are actually kind of dangerous because if they run into us, uh, for example, the field or here on the wolf on the floors, uh, they can actually do damage to you. Although they stay on a very specific track. Also, that one's in our way because we need to get up that wall to get back to where we were. The cockroaches are a little... Uh, I don't mind them, but I'm sure for some people they'll probably be a little overly realistic and a little overly grotesque if you have a phobia of insects, so I apologise for that. I guess it was make some very good cockroaches. <laughs> but they're actually as gross as you'd expect them to be. I like the little scurry as well, that's really cute. This was me realising there's this cockroach here. You have to wait for him to get into a uh, needle shot. Right there. Come on, come back. Oh. There we are. Said the needle. <laughs> Yeah, overall I kind of like this music, but for such an extended period of time, 
it can get a little tiresome. But don't worry, we won't screw up the jump this time, we'll actually make it this time. This is not the worst electricity gets, it can get much more nasty. But there we go, just skip over it like a skipping rope. The stone! There it is, plain as day. But I cannot reach it, I dare say. Now let me see, what can I do to set it free? This is quite simple, just throw something at it, and it'll dislodge it. Now we just need to chase it. I kind of like the animations though, it reminds me a lot of uh, Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Just a little bit, you know those kind of who Goldberg machines are always quite fun to watch. So I don't mind seeing it escape me, even though that's madly annoying, because like, oh, I want the thing. But because it's just kind of yeah. cute to see it like With bouncing around all the pipes and everything like that. And yeah, we couldn't reach this from the ground, so we have to go up around this way to get here. Find it. Gotta find, find, find. For some reason I'm getting pretty strong memories of Mouse Hunt from this. <laughs> Which is a movie I really enjoyed. Basically Nathan Lane and Lee Evans doing live action Tom and Jerry. There's the cockroach I was missing. Yeah, again, that skittering noise is very loud, very obvious, so it's a very good way of making sure you don't miss any. And this over here, that little red spot, was me just checking up that that was just a berry, and it was. A fairy fruit thingy. But yeah, no more sounds, so that means this room is now clear. So let's follow up through this pipe. This is not as I had planned. The stone's too far from my little hand. Now it's gone through that uh, one. I gotta go down and get what it. Happened? I was like how annoyed he sounds sometimes. That's just kind of cute. He's like he's almost going full boggart voice there a little bit. Just like better go down and get it. Just not quite, and that's fairly adorable to my to me anyway. I find it kind of cute. That dodge, that roach just dodged us like riding. That's ridiculous. The ninja dog needles. I'm impressed with that cockroach. Must find, must find. Well, the interesting thing was as well the guide thingy in the uh, the quest logs don't. That was me just forgetting the discovery button. The quest logs don't actually say kill 50 cockroaches immediately. What they actually say is they do it in uh, groups of uh, numbers. So, for example, in this case, the uh, milestones keep updating from 10 cockroaches to 20 to 30 to 40 to 50. But by the end of the game, we will have done 50. I think it's safe to say in Thimble Tax work. If Thimble Tax will probably put it. If any cockroaches were to be missed, that would make me feel rather pissed. Let's just make sure we have everything we need before we move on down that little pipe. But of course, the main problem with these areas is they are quite maze like in the platforming and everything. There's like a lot of platforms all over the place. So if you're looking for one particular thing, it can be really hard to find it if you don't know exactly where it is. That was this little guy. We almost had him right on top of, which could have sucked because that can hurt us. There we are. Luckily, he has infinite needles, and there, there we see again. what we're looking for. Almost got you. These mouse traps I can't recall much about. I don't remember if they hurt you or not, but I didn't test it because I didn't feel like it. 
they're very easy to avoid, even if they uh, are just there for environmental stuff. I mean, they probably do hurt you, I'm just not dumb enough to have walked onto one to find good, out. Feeling fine, here I go, right up this line. One thing I quite like with Timble Tack is how many different lines he has. Like, it's not just the same couplet for the same movement. Uh, it kind of cycles a little bit to different variations on what he's saying. Cockroach party under the stairs. Home is what I measure. Now I must collect more treasure. And now, of course, from the name of that, we know what he just said, rather. We know that we have 25 out of the 50 cockroaches. I do quite like that he tells you that as well when you get that far. It's like, by the way, here's how you're doing. Not bad. Here. Yeah. I generally like the way the game uh, stratifies gotcha. its goals like that. It's like get to getting you, like, telling you what you need to get the next milestone, not just to beat the entire side quest. The cockroaches do it, and other collectibles later like will do the same thing. So let's get back there, shall we? But there is, of course, one more cockroach that I've missed. That wasn't a rhyming couplet. Oof, ah, does not rhyme with anything. Ruining your own gimmick there, Thimble Tack. I do like that as the boggart, he doesn't rhyme because he just doesn't feel like it. He's just too annoyed when he's the boggart. But when he's brownie mode, he's rhyming all the time, and that's just generally adorable. And happily, no fall damage. Ha! There's a missing cockroach. I kind of like the noises they make when you hit them, that's kind of adorable. It's, like, <laughs> it's a really cute noise. I'm, quite, I'm a fan of that aspect of the cockroaches. I might put a content warning on this video for Icky, though. <laughs> for those that are bothered by them, because. The cockroaches in this video may bother some people. But yeah, this was me checking, I've got all 27 motors in this direction, and I do, so let's move on, shall we? His jump park's really weird, though, because they're trying to make it really tall, so when he's jumping a relatively small sequence, it just feels kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, the trick, of course, to avoid jumping up is just to drop like that. Gently drop. And I kind of like the little hop right over that wire. It's completely unnecessary to do that, but it's just kind of fun. Now let's get out to that bookshelf, shall we? And now we're done with Thimble Tack. For now. Creatures like me can hide from view to avoid being seen by those like you. Hey, where'd you... Oh, there you are. You want to find a better way to hold it on to your face, I'd say. So there is our next story quest. Help have our brother Simon figure out how to attach this to our face permanently so that we can use it without leave lose it without losing one of our arms. That's putting it somewhat melodramatically, but you get the idea. Everything I just got a little lost there. <laughs> but there's our exit, so Yeah, unfortunately we can't grab that just yet, that'll be later. So that's just how we know where to find Simon. The game helpfully tells us he's outside, looking for his cat. Happily, whenever you ever transition between the inside and outside of the house, it's all between Thimble Tack and the kids, it uh, auto saves. Generally, it auto saves when you go to different areas. The thing I quite like with the uh, stone is this. Feels very paranormal that, just from that one sequence at the beginning of the movie there. 
That was quite like all the life that springs to mind, but we'll explore this later. Uh, so, join me next time as we speak to Simon and figure out how to attach this stone to our face in a more permanent way. Goodbye.